What's good YouTube, it is Digital Hustler back with another video y'all and look in today's video I have a very special video for y'all for my starting entrepreneurs or my starting clothing brand owners y'all look I got a special video and in this video I'll be showing y'all as y'all can see by the title I'll be showing y'all how to get fonts right I'm gonna be showing y'all how to get fonts how to download the fonts to your Mac to your HP to your whatever device that you have I'm gonna be showing you how to get fonts on your laptop look y'all and look i know this is a question that a lot of y'all have been asking me in the comments where do you get your fonts what font is that now look y'all i'm gonna be honest i do not like to share my fonts with others there's a lot of free game on this channel but that is one thing i don't share just because i feel like of course i can go on these things and find them but at the same time me just giving out the font to people is like that is thousands of people watching my channel that may you know go duplicate that font or may you go use that font and then it's like damn like it's not even really hidden for real like it was as y'all can see by the screen i have a thousand and one fonts and then i have thefont.com and these are two i ain't gonna lie these are two websites that do look similar now that i look at it but i me personally i use a thousand and one fonts the fonts i done had i didn't heard some good things about them and as i see right now currently they do have some good looking fonts like some different stuff that i haven't even seen before but like i said i use a thousand and one fonts so i'm more familiar with it and the reason why i pulled up the font is just to give people the alternative that they may need and yeah y'all let's get into this video so as y'all can see on a thousand fonts they have new and fresh fonts right here but the setup that i like to do right is what you basically going to do is you're going to text whatever you want right here all right so let's say for example i was to try to make a new design with one of the slogans or one of the phrases that i use for my brand and that is wi-fi money and i did see somebody comment and was like what is wi-fi money wi-fi money is basically using wi-fi to make money you know i'm not going to judge a lot of people are foreign that do watch me and a lot of people don't understand terminology we're going to be honest so wi-fi money is basically just making money online right so I type in Wi-Fi money <clears throat> and yeah what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna click this button right here and this basically is saying that this font is free for commercial use meaning that I can sell this product or sell whatever product that I have with this font and it's not gonna be I'm not gonna get copyrighted or, or you know flagged for it all right and basically a lot of fonts that do match that will pop up you can make this smaller so you can have more of a vision of you know comparison you could say like this right here this this cutie fool i really like this font this is a really this is a really good font and then what you do going to do next is you're going to put 50 fonts per page uh this date added trending popularity alphabetical number of styles that really doesn't even really matter to me to be honest and then yeah so that's that's just the filters that i like to put just so it can get like more straight to the point or what I want and yeah y'all let's go ahead and start looking for something that we may like so as you can see they have all these different options that you can choose from they are all free for commercial use and let's just say for example I want to go with let's say I want to go with this one right so I'll click on the font and the name of this font is Lep, Lep Rico font Lep Rico font I don't know but <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna click right here where it says download and it's similar for Mac. i do have a macbook y'all but it is similar for hp um you click install and then it'll show like multiple files and then the file that you want to go to i think it's like ttf okay this is otf and once you click otf on there or ttf or whatever it is you just click install because I'm trying to remember, I used to have an HP when I, when I first started my clothing brand. I, when I first started my YouTube channel, I did have an HP, and that wasn't even my HP. That was my mom. We both used it. You know, we both shared the laptop, and that was really the a stepping stone for my whole business and my whole clothing brand. Like, I used that to make my starting brand, my starter, my starting designs, and my starting uh, mockups on that computer. So, like I said, you are gonna come over here to downloads. You are gonna double click that. And then you're gonna click right here where it says install. All right. So now when you go to the Cricut Design Space, 
And that's one big thing, y'all. If you listen, this is a tip. If you have Cricut Design Space, when you download the font the first time, it's not gonna work. What you need to do is you need to close out Cricut Design Space. So basically, like here, I'll basically hold on. So I'll basically have to quit. Let's say for example, right? I was already on Cricut Design Space and I downloaded the font. What I'll have to do is I'll have to go on Cricut Design Space right now. I'll have to quit it and then I'll have to restart it so the font can be added to Cricut Design Space. Make sure you keep that in, in mind because that was one of the biggest things that I was struggling with when I first started. Hey, I'll go to this one, right? This is a design that I'm making up with my beanie right now. Click customize, we're gonna wait for this to load up. Damn, my laptop acting mad slow. What's going on, man? Let's go. All right, so boom, right? So now I'm gonna come over here to text and we're gonna move this text box over here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show y'all an example also of what I'm referring to, just so people are visual learners. So I'm definitely gonna show y'all what I'm referring to when I say you have to click out and restart it. All right, so we're gonna go back and the name of this font is Let Rico. All right, I don't know how to say that properly. So we're just gonna go with that. So let's say, for example, I say Digital Hustlers. Oh, let's go Wi-Fi Money. Wi-Fi Money. You're gonna click Font, System. Then you're gonna come over here and then type out the font that you downloaded. And there it is, y'all. And that is how you download fonts into your laptop. So you can put it on Creative Design Space or whatever you use. I know some people do use Photoshop and Photopea. It's the same thing with that. Download it to your MacBook or HP. And then from there, you should be able to, whatever software you use, you should be go, able to go on there and search it up. And I believe it's the same thing because when I was using Photopea, I'll have to restart Photopea to have the font that I just downloaded be on there. Now I'm going to show you what I'm referring to, right? Now let's say, for example, we was to go back to... Uh, we used to go back to a thousand fonts. You know what? Let me try the font. Let me try the font. Um, now, like I said, I'm not too knowledgeable with the font, so but we're gonna see if I can find something that I like. All right, let's go with um, cartoon. Okay, Starborn. I like this one. All right, so this, this font created by Daryl Flood is free for personal use. Do I appreciate donation? So as y'all can see right here, right? This is how you make sure that you don't get copyrighted or flagged. As you can see, it says it's free to use for personal use, meaning that you cannot use this for commercial or selling to other people, etc. He says for commercial use, you must purchase a license, a license by either paying me at least $20 via PayPal to blank or buying a license here. All right, so we're not gonna use that one. Let's go to another one. They don't have the, oh, they do actually. I didn't see this at first. All right, but so we're gonna do Wi-Fi money. We're gonna do the same thing. All right, and then I'm gonna show, oh, 200 fonts on one page. Now they have way more uh, options being shown at once. We're gonna do small. Popularity, I mean, it doesn't matter to be honest. Uh, more options. As you can see, only as 100% free. All right, now you click submit. All right, all right, all right. Now let's say, for example, I was to go with this option right here, right? Let's say I like this one. I'm gonna click on it. 100% alloy. I don't know what out. Oh, I guess this is the name of the, the font I'm guessing, but we're going to come over here to download. Allow. And then we're going to double click. As y'all seen, right? Remember, I told y'all about this TT, TTF and OTF. Now TTF, I think it's just a variant. So we're going to go with TTF, it don't matter, to be honest. All right, so click install. Now the name of this font is Alloy, right? 
Now let's go to over here to Cricut Design Space and we're gonna search up alloy. As y'all can see, the font is not here. Now, like I was saying earlier, what you have to do is you have to come down here. Let me save this. Come on, save, save, save. Come over here, I'm gonna quit the Cricut Design Space. I'm gonna open up again. And now we're gonna wait for it to open. Now look y'all, I am back on the same canvas and now we're gonna see if the font is in here after I had restarted it. So now that I click on the font and click system, and now we search up the font. And as, as, as you can see, the font is right here. Double click it and now as you can see, we have the font inside of Cricut Design Space. We have the new font. And yeah, y'all, that is basically how you use 1001 fonts and the font.com. And that's how you get fonts onto your laptop and how you can basically use the fonts to make a design or something. I don't know, y'all tell me. I'm just giving y'all the information to whatever y'all need it for. Y'all decide. But look, man, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something new and this was educational and helped you out with your fonts and your designs that you do have coming up for your clothing brand. Feel free to DM me and show me what your designs are and what you have going on for your clothing brand and what you learned also, man. I love reaching back out to y'all, having those conversations a little bit better, man. I appreciate y'all for everything that y'all have done for me. 6.7K has been hit. 6.8K is on the way. And you know, 7K is the next big goal. I appreciate y'all for watching. Traders out here, man, I keep attacking these markets. And everybody else, man, y'all stay safe out here, man. DHS is out. Yeah.